But we're heading out to Denver, North Carolina to talk with Caden Honeycutt. Caden, uh, man, you've got a lot been going on here over the last couple of weeks. And let's get right, right to the point. Let's talk about the Cars Tour and where you currently set heading into the throwback race at Hickory Motor Speedway. Uh, so we're currently 35 points out uh, with a three-way tie uh, with Connor Hall, myself, and uh, Chad McCombie for second um, behind the junior motorsports car of Carson Quapel. Um, We've had good speed this year. We just haven't had the luck and haven't had the results that we've what we've deserved for our autos by Nelson team. Um, we've been close, you know, with, I think with this break, it's kind of give us uh, a kind of a, a break and get us regrouped and get ready for the second half of the season. Um, of course, we're definitely not out of the championship being the points out of the way it is, but well, we're really just focused on winning races and, and points will take care of themselves. And um, I really don't have any other uh, doubts that we'll be able to uh, run for, for a win at every racetrack that we go to, even though we struggled at Hickory uh, in March, I feel like we'll go back and we kind of learned a whole lot of different things that we'll uh, be better at for this next race and hopefully be better for the rest of the season. And I don't have a doubt that we won't be. All right. So just real quick, out of the ra remaining races that are left, where do you think your best shot is of actually bringing home and, and parking that number 12 in victory lane? Well, man, I, I'll be honest. Uh, the way we got to ace twice this year, Motor Mile, they were really dang good at Motor Mile last year. Uh, South Boston, they they dominated us uh, with that F56 tire for the championship race. Um, we ended up finishing second to Bobby on that. Um, there's four to five races the rest of this year that I really have no doubts that we can go out and win the race. It's a matter of putting it putting it together. So we're going to work hard, like I said, and just focus on winning races, even if uh, those other four races aren't the best tracks for us. We're still going to, uh, one goal is in mind and that's what uh, we're set to. All right. So let's, uh, let's now start talking about the truck series. I know this is something you've worked your entire life for is to, to get yourself number one relocated out into the, to the North Carolina area out there where the hotbed of racing is to be able to go to work at a shop, which you are now doing at on point motorsports. But now we've got three, truck races scheduled and possibly a couple of more. So uh, give it, give us your insight on what's going on with Caden Honeycutt and the Camping World Truck Series. So I've, I've been very blessed and honored to, uh, to run with On Point Motorsports this year in the 30 truck team, also taking a full-time job, uh, being a, just being a mechanic and working on stuff and getting stuff ready to go to the racetrack. Um, I enjoy it a lot. This is what I've wanted to do for, for 10 years. Um, you know, it was a little struggle to, to move out here, um, you know, especially for how uh, kind of a late currents, I guess, this came up. So, you know, it's been difficult, but I absolutely love it out here. I love being able to go to the shop and work on my own equipment, um, whatever it might be, and going to the racetrack and racing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to those three races and possibly more. We're, um, we got some good stuff. We have a, a great facility, a great shop, and, and great guys that we got. I uh, already have a great relationship with the guys that we got uh, over this course of this, only this first week. So uh, I think that's awesome. You know, you have to have a, a good connection with your guys in order to have a good relationship and, and take that to the next level. So having fun with it already and very looking forward to Pocono. And actually our truck is already ready and uh, ready to go after it. Um, and also for the rest of these three races, just looking forward to it. And hopefully uh, another opportunity for next year can turn up as well. Yeah, real quick from a driver standpoint, how much is it going to help you being in the shop and learning all of the ins and outs of this truck and helping with the setup and really getting to understand the truck a lot more? Because, you know, you've only been in a truck twice. And both of those times, I think we were, you know, you were basically kind of chasing your tail a little bit, trying to just get the truck to where it could be presented at the track. Now you're in a really, really good piece and the opportunity to kind of fine tune that thing so that you can go out there and be competitive. Absolutely. You know, um, I think as a driver, it kind of gives me the understanding on, I know what's in the truck. I know what should do this, this should do that. You know, if we change this, this result will happen. You know, there's stuff like that, that I can give feedback to right away to the crew chief with a snap of a finger and be like, yeah, we'll end up doing this change and end up doing this. So we'll go back and do this, do that. You know, there's a lot of different variables that, that go on. Um, I think if you know what's in your truck, you know what to expect. I feel like you'll have a better absence to know uh, how you should approach uh, your first couple laps around a racetrack you've never seen before, especially when it's two and a half miles. 
Um, so, you know, I feel like for every driver that could hurt, that could help so much. And um, I feel like it can create a better connection. Like I said earlier, connection with your guys is huge. And I feel like if, if your crew chief knows you, then they, you know, each other and he knows exactly your expression to him on, on if it's tight or loose, this, that, and the other right. in a certain part of a corner. So there's, there's a lot of awesome variables to that. And, you know, I think if a lot of other people did, I think they would get the results uh, they've been out lacking or they've been seeking the entire year. All right. Well, Kate, we got 30 seconds left. So let me ask you real quick. How confident are you about working with Stephen Bones? Lane. Oh, awesome. I, I have, I'm so, like I said, I'm so excited. I'm ready. And these guys are awesome. Like I said, the first week well, we had a great connection and we're, uh, we're very excited to, for this year and hopefully for next season. All right. Well, Caden, I want to thank you for spending some time with us. Good luck this weekend in Pocono. And I'm sure we'll be checking back with you a little bit later in the season. Absolutely. So there you have it. Caden Honeycutt, now a Camping World Truck Series driver and living his dream in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. Now back to the show.